It's been 12 months like never before. From pandemic all the way through to vaccine, we've all had to completely change the way we live our lives. But before we get into all of that, it's probably best to start at the beginning. Back in January last year, scientists in China discovered a dangerous virus that was causing people in the city of Wuhan to get very poorly. It was a type of coronavirus that causes a disease we now know as COVID-19. The World Health Organization warned that the virus was really dangerous because it spread easily. And by February, the first person in the UK had become infected with COVID-19. From this point, scientists were in the spotlight as governments turned to them to find a solution to the spread. The word pandemic had well and truly left the realm of science fiction as countries all over the world were put into lockdown. In the UK, we were told to stay at home, keep two metres away from anyone not in our households, wear masks in public, washing our hands became more important than ever and bottles of hand sanitizer sold out everywhere. And we met this man. Next slide, please. For many of us, this was the first time we had seen scientific and medical advisors speaking to the public directly in television press conferences. They had left the shadows and shot straight to the top of trending charts on social media. All schools were closed and learning went mostly online as many teachers relied on video call technology to keep in touch with their pupils. As well as helping prevent the spread of the virus, scientists also started looking for a solution. All over the world, scientists set about creating a vaccine that could tackle the virus and stop it from being harmful. And they managed it in record time. Christmas came early in December as 90-year-old Margaret Keenan became the first person to be given a COVID-19 vaccine outside of a clinical trial. By the start of March, and almost a year on from the first lockdown announcement, over 20 million people in the UK had been vaccinated. So there you have it. Scientists have always been super at what they do, but in the space of 12 months, they have become our real life superheroes. For all the latest news, visit the Newsround website.